Hello world, in this video we are going to see how to make hexa header mesh for flow over a cylinder using ANSYS machine. I will be using this method of uh, blocking for the geometry which is available on the documentation website of OpenFOAM. I will drop the link in the description. You can check it out. Uh, I am going to use SOLIDWORKS to prepare the geometry but it is your preference to use whatever uh, software you want to use. I am going to use SOLIDWORKS because it is convenient for me. Anyways, the method of block generation is going to be the same. First, I will switch over to my SOLIDWORKS and I am going to create a new part. First, I will take the front plane and what I am going to do is first draw the 2D sketch of this and then use that as a base to create the 3D part. So initially, I'll just take the baseline and for this tutorial, we are just going to use some random dimensions because it doesn't matter what is the dimension. Anyways, we are just going to uh, follow the method then obtain a proper dimensionful mesh. The first step would be to draw this semicircle, which is our uh, cylinder. So I draw a circle and then there is another circle on top of it. So I will also draw that and then we have a rectangular fluid domain around it. So I will create the rectangular fluid domain. Now we can start trimming the entities. We don't want all of these. So I will just trim it. Now we can give the dimensions. Now let us take this as 15 and I'll take this as 30. Now let this and this be equal so that we are getting a symmetric uh, geometry. Now let this height be 60. I think I can even expand this. I'm just trying to make this something similar to what is there in the diagram. Even though it's not very really accurate, we can get something just like that. Now you have to ensure that all these three points are horizontal so that we can get a proper semicircle. Okay, now we can start drawing the other lines. First, I will draw this one because it segments geometry into two and then we have two more lines something like this the so first thing you have to do is that this should be about 45 degrees and this should also be about 45 degrees because it is equally subtending sometimes you may not uh, get it fully defined that is it might be movable like this so what you can do is can just draw a center line from here to here and select these two lines and give it pulling it by doing this what you are actually doing is making the line pass through the radius so once it passes through the radius there can be only one uh, line which is 45 degrees to this line which also passes through the radius so you are getting a fully defined line okay then we have these two blocks which i am creating by drawing a rectangle like this. Now we have created the base diagram. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take the print plane and I am going to start sketching all of these one by one. First I will draw this rectangle for the features extrude and you can keep this dimension as whatever you want. In this tutorial we are following a 3D mesh. So I will just take a small uh, length so that the mesh generates is uh, generated is very fast. Next, I will prepare this. To do this, you can draw the straight lines first. And once you are done, you don't actually have to take a curve to draw this curve. You can move your pencil away from the line and go back near it, and the tool will become like a curved uh, geometry. That is a curve. 
so you can use this trick or else you can also go and draw a curve make sure you are not sticking out this merge result so that it is created as different bodies that is very important now i will draw this one And when you are extruding, make sure all of these are of the same breadth just to make it a uniform mesh. Now I will draw these two, or I'll just draw this and tell you how to make all those four. Just draw the straight line, move your pencil and go near it so you will get a curve, again a line, and again a curve. Go to features, extrude boss. Don't merge result. Okay. Now you can just make circular pattern so that you are getting four entities because all four are of the same dimension. Make circular pattern. Instead of features, we want bodies. This body and the direction will be this line. Make sure it is 135 degrees and four instances. By default, it will be 360. Just change it to 135. And then click on OK. We have got four bodies. Now we can just mirror these three bodies along the right plane and we will get these three. We don't have to draw it again. So I go to mirror, then mirror bodies, these three, the mirror face or plane will be our right plane. We have got all the bodies and hide this. Now you can ensure that you have 10 bodies. One, two, three, four, five, and same on the other side. So we have 10 bodies. Now, since I'm going to use answers, I'm going to save this in IGS format. Okay, over cylinder tutorial. Once this is done, you can go to your answers workbench and first import the geometry after you drag and drop the geometry module and right click import geometry and you can select the geometry which you have prepared now open this in design modeler keep it frozen because we are just going to Create a fluid domain. Now select all of these 10 bodies, make it into fluid. Uh, you can select all of these by holding shift. Right click on any of these and you form your part. We need one part 10 bodies and not 10 part 10 bodies. We just make sure of it and make sure all of these are together or in fluid uh, method. So we have created the geometry and measure it into single part now we can import it into mesh so to do that you have the uh, mesh module drag and drop it and you can select drag and drop the geometry over here now you can start meshing Once this is imported, you can go to mesh and select the physics preference as CFD and just change it the default mesh. Now, as you can see, this is a good hexahedral mesh. If you have multiple uh, CPUs, you can select the multiple CPUs. In my case, I have 16 threads, so I'm giving 16. If it is more or less for you, you can choose it appropriately. Now, as we can see, it is 0 0.0008 meters we can start iterating over smaller uh, dimensions okay now this is good now we can still go further down now this is a good mesh uh, we are having proper hexahedral mesh all are quads and uh, there is no much skewness it is nice if you want you can just stop it over it and you can run your simulation 
but if you want still further uh, fineness you can even go further down because since it is already blocked it will not be much of a problem to just refine it so refining it will only split the existing cells into multiple cells so it shouldn't be much of a problem you can try it out in my case you can see how fine the mesh has come out and it is nice every mesh is very uniform and the result will also be accurate so you can follow this okay once you have done this you might wonder how to give naming selections because for naming selections uh, we are going to take faces and then give names which will get imported into answers to end or if you want open form that will get imported there but here there are multiple faces but it is very simple you just have to select the both the faces and group it into single name description in this case i'm going to click inlet can select multiple faces by holding on to control there i will give it as outlet but uh you did not name any other surfaces like all these are distinct surfaces but you don't have to name everything as wall by default all other uh, surfaces will be grouped as wall default by the access mesh module but just in case if you want to give uh, separate boundary conditions or features for your cylinder alone what you can do is you can select these faces by holding on to control and group it all into cylinder okay now if you want like a whole cylinder flow or a cylinder you can just mirror this and get the uniform mesh on this side also but it is enough to uh, simulate over single like the half upper half alone because if you are just going to run a laminar steady state case uh, it is going to settle down symmetrically because the flow on the top and the bottom is going to be the same so you can just use half the uh, mesh half the result and mirror it in the post processing so that you are getting a flow over whole cylinder so it is up to you and depending on the process which you are doing okay that's it for this video if you liked all the process which is followed here please drop a like to the video and consider subscribing to my channel for more informative videos and drop down comments if you have any doubts thank you see you again in another video